Hi everyone and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a really super awesome, fabulous type of day today. I hope that it's warm and maybe a little sunny where you are. If it's not, then wishing you well wherever you may be, whatever time of day it may be. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Lives Makeup and I'm a fictional makeup artist and I've been in the industry for 30 plus years and I'm still in the industry where I help people just like yourself with skincare, makeup, and fragrance every single day. And, um... With that said, guys, um, we are here to talk about a lot of new makeup. There was just so much new makeup coming out this past week that I basically just had to break down and say I've got to do a new pass or yes because there's so much new makeup that's literally just dropped in the last week. I am not even kidding. It's insane. Um, so anyway, with that said, without further ado, guys, let us just jump right into it. So I moved over a little bit more here on the side so you guys could see. So I was able to turn on my light a little bit so you guys can see me a little bit. So you can see my highlight, my gorgeous skin, pink lips. We're just living this love in this 80s moment right now. We're just enjoying it. <laughs> If you guys want to know about this eyelet, by the way, you can, um, it'll be uh, probably up the video after this one, so you can check it out. I do a little tutorial, they'll get ready with me, um, so you can check it out there. So, I mean, but it is really cute, it's a cute video. Um, so anyway, so first up is some news that hit this peak week. Um, so Huda Katan, who is the owner and, um, of Huda Beauty, had stepped down in 2020 away from being CEO. I think it was 2020 or 2019, she stepped down from being, um, president or CEO of the company. Um, she uh, basically decided to take the reins again. Evidently, the people that she um, had invested her, in, you know, had kind of taken over the company for her um, to help her make decisions and everything. Um, I think she just felt like it was best for her to step back in again. Um, so she said that they are changing their logo. They're changing their whole, they're discontinuing some things. Glowish is going away. Um, lots of things are happening over at Huda Beauty. So we will be seeing a lot of new things coming from them very soon. But since we're on Huda, the very first one is she is coming out with a brand new, it's called, um, it's a lip gloss. It's like a lip, it's like a lip gloss of some sort. I don't know really a lot about it. It's supposed to be launching on March 13th worldwide. She has been dropping these pictures left and right. Um, she even demonstrated it again. I think it's called the Fox Filter Lip Gloss because I don't have a lot of information on it. Um, let me go down here. I think I have another picture because she just dropped, she's been dropping stuff that's left and right like the last couple of days and I can't believe it. It's called, yeah, and the packaging is gorgeous. It's a really beautiful packaging and the Dofit on it, she showed using it, she was using it. The Dofit is very unusual and according to her, it's supposed to be the best lip gloss ever. Like it's going to be one of the best lip glosses ever. So she's really, really hyping it up. You can definitely tell that she's stepping back into her CEO shoes. Um, she's really, really showing the product a lot. Not that she didn't before, but she's more passionate about it. Um, so I'm really excited for her. I'm really excited for her company. I can't wait to see what's going to come out of it. Um, and you know, I have to pick up one of these. I'm really, I'm really intrigued. I'm kind of intrigued. And you know, as, as many lip products, and when I tell you, when I say, guys, there are so many lip products and so many blushes and so many cream blushes and so many liquid blushes. I mean, this is, the stuff that I'm showing you today is even half of what is out. There is so much, I mean, I can't even go on and on with how much is coming out because there's just so much coming out. But um, I'm definitely interested in this. I definitely would be picking this up to so definitely giving it a good yes, a good shaky, shaky, shake because I want to try this out. I'm really want to try out the pale pink one. The pale pink one looks really pretty. Um, so I don't know, either that one or the clear one, I'm not really sure, but I definitely want to pick that up. Um, so yeah, so let's go back here now that we got Huda out of the way, because I wanted to make sure we got that news story in there, because I just felt like it was really important, and if you guys hadn't heard or didn't know, I just felt like it was kind of um, nice that she went on to social media, and she also had the video up on YouTube. If you guys want to go and check it out, you can see her talk about it. Um, so up next is, um, this is the Guerlain Spring Collection. Um, there is three, four shades of meteorite. There's a Kabuki brush, there's an ombre quad eyeshadow palette, and there's a Kiss Kiss Be Glow in a new pink color. The pink color looks really pretty, and so does the, uh, the palette with the shadows in it. It looks really pretty. They're very neutral tone with a little bit of like a, a little bit of like an orangey, kind of a little coralish kind of a look to them. 
Um, and the I love the meteorites. They're so pretty. Mm, this is tempting. The meteorites is tempting because the tin is gorgeous. The packaging is really, really beautiful. I don't know. I don't know anything about prices, but usually I think the meteorites run about $60, $65, I think. The lip the lip balms normally run around $40, $45, and then the eyeshadows, I think they run around $65 or $70, um, around the Chanel price range. Um, I don't know. This is a maybe. The, the meteorites are giving me a little bit of a maybe. I don't know, because I really feel it. On, they're really pretty. Um, I don't know which one I would get, though. I don't know. I really do like the fair ones every now and then. The number two. They'd be number two or number three, probably, if I did. So, this is an if, and this is a maybe. So, I don't know. So, we just have to stay tuned for that one, because I don't know yet. Um, next is, um, this one is from Maybelline, and this is the Sun Kisser Blush. Um, it's meant to be an easy-to-use liquid blush to provide the natural sun-kissed glow. Um, the formula blends seamlessly with skin tones, leaving the skin feeling breathable and moisturized. It's light on the skin. It's a 20-hour wear. Natural sun-kissed glow. Um, vegan. Um, there is Blazing Blush, Soul Search, Shades on, Summer in the City, City Sizzle, and Electric Bronze. Um, it doesn't really necessarily give the price, but normally they're around the $14 range or around the $12 range or so. These are cute. I mean, it's cute. Um, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a pretty, it's in a pretty, almost looks like a lip gloss applicator. Um, you just put it on with a dough fit, um, but it looks really cute. I mean, you know, um, they look, they do look really pretty. They look very fresh. I'm sure that it'll be really cute. This is the past for me, though. I just, there are so many of these blushes. I just can't with blush. Guys, if you please, if you feel me down below, please let me know because blush is killing me. These blush, just, I mean, we've got more to even talk about here. There's so many blushes. I just don't even know how to describe the blush. The blush is just so many. There's so many blushes, so many lip glosses, so many lip oils, so many plumpers, so many. It's just, it is just overkill. It really, really is overkill. But please let me know, are you just blushed to death? Are you blush fatigued? Because let me tell you, I am. So, I mean, it's really hard for me to really want to get into any blush because I've just got so many blushes that I don't even get to use now. So, I don't know. I, this is definitely a no. This is a pass for me. Um, but let me know down below what you guys think if you really are into this one. And then, up to next one, I know there's going to be a ton of you that are going to be into this one. And this one is the Makeup by Mario palette. Um, it is the Neutrals. It is, I'm, I'm sorry, hold on a minute. I just, I, I missed that. It's the matte eyeshadow palette. It's the Neutrals. It's a modern take on the 90s Neutrals. It's 12 creamy buildable shades for every skin tone, featherweight, matte finish. And it's $50. Um, so there's, um, there's 12 shades in it. Um, there's a cream, a peach nude, a cool sand, a muted beige, a light taupe, a, a tan, a pale mauve, a ochre brown, a brownish gray, an intense cool brown, a cool blue gray, an intense black. Um, it's available now on Sephora, just on their app as I'm filming this, but it will be available. It will already be up and available on the Sephora, so you'll be able to get that. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested, if you want to check it out. Um... This is pretty. I mean, it's pretty. It's a matte, and it's pretty. Um, but that's it. You know, it's just, it's very, I mean, you know, and I'm not saying it's not good because I don't have Mario's first one. But I did buy Kim's, and I felt like it was very similar. They looked very similar. This one has a couple more cool tones in it. Um, I don't know, guys. This is just another, this is just a pass for me. It's just spending another 50 bucks on something that I've already got. Like, I've got a million of already. I just don't need any more of these. But, I mean, but I do, a lot of people love these kind of palettes. They're great to travel with. They're great for people that want to use them for every day. Um, I'm sure his formula is beautiful. It's great. Um, you know, but it's a pass for me on this one. But please let me know down below. Are you really excited about this one or not? You know, please let us know because I know this one's going to be a big one. Now, the next one, the next palette we're going to talk about. Now, let's just talk about dropping, dropping my jaw. So, in the last pastor, yes, we discussed this one. And this is the Danessa Myrick's um, Blooming Romance Groundwork Palette. So, we talked about it in the last video, but the pictures were not that good. So, it wasn't really great. So, I was going to pass on it. But, y'all... They opened it up and showed real live pictures of it. It's gorgeous. It's really beautiful. You can use it for blush. You can use it for shadow. You can use it for so many things. I'm. This is going to probably be a yes. It's available on March 10th. 
March 19th online. Um, and it's for eyes, brows, cheeks, and lips. Yeah, and you can use it for everything. And it's got, and it's got, it's really oil absorbing, shaping powders, define eyes, brows, cheeks, and lips. Yeah, velvety pomades, talc free. Um, oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. This is a Yes, Janessa, give it to me, Danessa. I'm all about that. It's like, yeah, this is exciting. This excites me. Even the outside of the palette, which I didn't, um, I didn't take another picture of, but it's really like this really bright purple look. It's super pretty, guys. It's really pretty. Danessa is really, she's doing something a little different, and I like that. Now, she's not doing what everybody else is doing, which I really appreciate. So, this one is definitely a triple, a triple yes. Give me, give me, give me, Danessa, give me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then, um, and then up next, oh, Lord, Gucci, she coming out with the Cushion Foundation, honey. Cushion de Beauté. That she, Gucci giving us a hey, a Beauté, hey. That's what she, hey, hey, Beauté. <laughs> It's designed to deliver up a 24-hour hydration, lightweight foundation, enriched with high-reflection index oils, black rose oil, mineral powders, creates a luminous finish while protecting skin from antioxidant shields from harmful rays, SPF 20, housed in a pale pink refillable compact. Um, it has floral scents in it, Fioni, Freesia, Citrus Accord, and Musky Notes, which why would you need Musky Notes and Fioni and Freesia in your makeup? I don't know. Please ask me, Gucci. Please, please tell me why. Please tell me why, but I just don't understand. But it is 12 shades. And she's available in Selfridges right now, which is in the UK. Um, I don't know when this is going to be available here in the US, but um, but it looks, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, it's a pretty, Gucci gets some beautiful uh, beautiful packaging now. They get some really beautiful packaging, but I don't know about this, guys. I just don't. I really just don't. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be, it doesn't really say it's kind of like a luminous finish while protecting. I don't know. I don't get it. So, it's like, you know, it's a pass for me. It's like, you know, but it's cute, and I'm kind of a little tempted because I do love a good cushion compact. They are so good. And I haven't really seen one in a while that I've really been interested in. So I don't know. But right now it's a pass. Um and it, you know in the shade range is like really it's it's like it's, it's what nine shades of white and then it and then it's three shades of like beige and a dark. It was like it's really like it's like it is is it's kind of actually kind of funny, but um, it's sad and funny at the same time. But this is a pass for me. I'm gonna have to just say pass on this one. But you guys want to let me know what you guys think of this one down below because I'm uh, it's just definitely a no. And then up next, of course, we just have to mention this is the Sephora Savings Event is here. It will be here. Well, it's not here yet, but it's gonna be here. It's here on uh, Rouge. It's April 5th through the 15th. Um, VIB is April 9th through the 15th. And then Insider is not through the 15th. Um, and then the Sephora collection will be 30% off, of course, as always. Um, so, yeah, guys, it's like, yeah, uh, you use the code YAYSABE. Um, so, yeah, it'll be starting on the 5th. So, it's going to be in another month. We're going to be getting the Sephora sale. So, you guys, any of you guys that are interested in any of these things that may be coming out, may want to hold out until the Sephora sale. So, but I just want to let you guys know, I'm sure you guys probably knew about it. If you're Sephora, you probably already see it on the app or they may have already started sending you stuff or whatever. But just, just keep that in mind, and, you know, plan it on your calendar. Because I know a lot of you guys really enjoy the Sephora when they do the sales. I, sometimes, I, I mean, I think it's worth it sometimes. But, you know, but sometimes. I feel like you can get better deals on the sites, but um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good. I know everybody looks forward to it every year, so um, yeah, so just put that on your calendar, um, just uh, so you'll be reminded. Hoslas has returned with their new talc free blushes, they come back out with them again, they are just re releasing them again. They uh, took them off. Um, and last year after they had them out, and then I have one of them, and then they brought, they brought them back again, they're bringing back the same shades again, it looks like pretty much, um, there's the, I think there's what, five shades, five or six shades, um, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six shades, there's six shades, and they've redone the packaging, um, and the packaging's a little bit smaller, it's not as big as it was, it was a little bit bigger compact, now they're a little bit smaller, um, but it, they're from Mernid with the Arnica, the Hydra Berry, the Squalene, the Shea Butter, the C, and the E, it's available on March 8th, and it'll be online on Sephora and on their site, 
Um, so, and they're $44 each. So if you guys were interested in those, they will be available. I'll, again, I will try to link those down below um, so you guys can check it out. If you guys missed out on the first round, they are really beautiful brushes. They do feel really good on the skin. Um, I'm not really interested in picking up any more, um, but they are really pretty. And they are really good blushes, so if you are really looking for a good powder blush, like right now, I feel at this point, even asking you or telling you guys about a blush right now, I feel like if you don't have a blush by now, <laughs> all these blushes and these launches, then I would just say, I don't know, I just evidently you just don't keep up with blushes, but they're just so many. Um, but, um, they are good and they are nice. If you guys are interested, they are really beautiful formula and they are really pigmented. So, but it's a pass for me because I've already got it. I already have one, so I don't need another one. And I barely use the one that I have, even though I like it, I don't use it. But, um, but anyway, but yeah, it's a pass for me, but, um, you'll have to let me know down below what you guys think. Okay, so up next is, this is the, um, this is a new foundation and it's from Urban Decay and it's called the Face Bond Waterproof Liquid Foundation with the niacinamide. I mean, honey, don't they all have niacinamide in it at this point? They got niacinamide in it, they all got squalene in it, they all have honorary acid in it. I mean, uh, I mean, it's just on and on and on. So anyway, it's three in one combined foundation serum setting powder. Ooh, it has serum in it. Wow, that's a groundbreaking, right? Nothing has serum in it these days. <laughs> I'm being a little sarcastic. Everything has serum in it these days. So it even has a setting powder in it. It delivers buildable medium coverage and hits 3% niacinamide skincare benefit. Self setting powder absorbs sweat and oil. Natural finish for up to 24 hours. Lightweight for all skin types. It's a patent pending precision dropper you can use with a sponge, a brush, or customized coverage. It's waterproof and sweat proof. It's resistant to smudging and transferring. 40 shades, vegan and cruelty free. Well, that's great for the 40 shades and it's vegan and it's cruelty free. That's really nice. And I do really love the Urban Decay. Um, what is it? The really moisturizing, the hydrating one. It's almost like a tint, but it's got a really beautiful coverage. I love that foundation. It's so good. And I really love the Quickie Concealer. So I really do like it. So I like some Urban Decay foundations and some skin care products. Um, it has a setting powder in it. It says it absorbs sweat and oil. Yada, yada. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe I might have to play with this one because... I'm, um, you know, I'm more dry, so I don't know if this one's going to work for me, but I'll have to look and see. I think they discontinued their Stay Naked Foundation, I think, and I think this is the one that's taken its place, so I think it's just kind of a, not the same thing, but it's kind of taken the place of the other one, so anyway, um, uh, this is going to be a pass for now. But you know what? I might be able to get a sample of it or something and try it for you guys if you guys are interested. You don't have to let me do it down below. But right now, I'm going to say a pass. Um, but it, the, I like that. The packaging is kind of interesting. It's a little interesting. The shades look really good. I love that they're showing diversity. Um, good for Urban Decay. Really good for them. So I don't know. You guys will have to let me know um, what you guys think. Um, and then we'll just have to see. Right now, there's not a date on it. But eventually, it will be out soon. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted about that. Um, but up next is one that I'm sure you guys will be interested in, and this is the YSL. It's their new updated version of the, um, the lipstick that they had. It's, what's it called? What was it called before? It was called, um, shoot, I forgot what it was called before. The Volant Shine, I think is what it was called. But now it's called the Love Shine Lipstick. So they change it. They graded the formula and the packaging. It's a moist, shiny lipstick. 24 hours hydration provides a rich, moist shine. Um, a new texture lipstick, the moist, shiny build with rich colors. Um, there is um, quite a few new, there's a couple new uh, shades in it. Um, and it's really pretty. It looks like guys, there's almost like 10 new shades, 10 or maybe 12 or something like that new shade. I can't, I can't really tell, but it, um, but it looks really cute. It's similar to the same packaging. It just went to more of a silver packaging instead of a gold. Um, it still looks like this still has the same bullet and everything. So I'm sure that it, and I'm sure the formula, these are beautiful, by the way, if you've never tried these, they are very hydrating and they do feel really good. They are very juicy. They, they smell good. They, taste good. <laughs> I mean, they just look really good. Um, 
And so I would definitely recommend these if you guys have never tried one of these. I don't need any right now, but um, they are really good. I know that they do go viral. I know people go nuts over them, but I'm going to say pass on this one for me. Um, but definitely know, let me down below if you're interested in picking up any of these or maybe during the Sephora sale. Um, uh, it doesn't really give me a price, but I think these are normally around $40 or $42, I believe, or something like that. As you know, it is the wife, Eve Saint Laurent, so I mean, so it is a little expensive, but there, it's available in Europe. It'll be available here soon, which will probably be before the Sephora sale, so just keep an eye out for that, and I will let you guys know, um, soon. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm sorry. I didn't see this, but there's 20 shades. There's almost 20 new shades, so yeah. So, yeah, so just let me know what you guys think, and, um, and I will try to keep you guys posted on that when it does come available. So, up next is the Westman Atelier Lip Suede Matte Lipstick. Um, and I think she's going to be available. She's available for $50. It's a cushioning comfort effortless grind of ultra saturated hydro matte finish, hydrating lipstick, lightweight and vivid. Plump, nourish, smooth blend with peptide CE, hydro suede technology, volumizing, moisture locking system, delivers matte pigment. Um, and it comes in uh, probably, it looks like about 10 shades. Like a, Yeah, it's about 10 shades. Um, that, let me tell you, that LFG color similar to this one and I got on by Clinique. It's so this is their new with Clinique's new pop lipsticks. And I just absolutely love it. It's such pretty this one is uh, sorry pop punch pop. Um but this new suede looks really beautiful and the packaging looks gorgeous. Um but she you know she's fifty dollars you know Westman she don't play honey she's all about that she's trying to get that pocketbook honey trying to get your pocketbook um but you know it's really pretty and I've heard really good things about it that they're really they do give a really beautiful payoff they feel really good on the lips they're very comfortable um you know this is a pass for now but you know you never know you just never know with this one guys because it is really pretty it is a beautiful bullet um you know let me know down below if you guys have picked this up or if anybody has played with any of these because i would love to know what you guys think about it but it is really pretty they are really beautiful lipsticks but it's definitely a pass for now but you just you just never know you just may never know what might fall on my lap or whatever and what may happen but anyway but um but yeah just keep me let me know down below if any of you guys have ever tried any of these next we have the she glam um lipstick finish mirror kiss high shine lipstick online now these are supposed to be a dupe for the ysl ones that we just talked about so, um, it's supposed to be lipstick with the high, uh, same high shine finish of a gloss with the moisturizing power of a lip balm. Um, it's a, it has a silky jelly texture that applies seamlessly on your lips with the super fletcher shine. And there's 12 shades and they're $6.99 a piece compared to the probably $40, $45 of the YSL. Um, so I will, uh, you know, news alert. I did pick these up already. They're already available. I picked up two of them. Um, I picked up one that was a little clearish, and I picked up another color. So, um, so we will be testing those out and see what we really think of those. Because I thought for six bucks, I mean, you know, why not? We could try that. You know, it's not breaking the bank with the six bucks, but we, you know, with forty five, it's a little different. But with six bucks, I could try it. Um, but because um, I really do love She Glam, I've tried a, quite a few of their things lately, and I've been really, really impressed with their products. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we're gonna be trying those out soon. So that is already a yes because we've already like we've already bought that. But anyway, just want to let you guys know about it. But um, it looks really cute. It looks really, I love the packaging. It looks really cute. But we'll have to wait and see what we think when we actually get it. And then we will kind of let you guys know. So it's a Polite Society has dropped, it's called the new Polite Pop to your cheeks and the new Polite Pout for juiciness to your lips. So the Polite Pop is an innovative power in a stick formula. It's $28, it's a powder plus stick. Blurring soft matte formula combines rich color and a cream. Um, it comes in Los Angeles, Milan, London, Paris, Sydney, and Palm Springs, which I think that's kind of cute. They named after cities. And then the uh, the next one, the Polite Pow, is a $21 glossy balm, plush draining vegan lip balm, immediately soothes and quenches dry lips, adding a glossy shine with a hint of color. It's supposed to have hazelnut, fiony, vitamin E, and plant-based omega-9 to pamper naturally plump lips, and strawberry glaze, bumbleberry, coconut cream, French caramel, and pink grapefruit. Now, if these have flavors, this may do really well if they're flavored. But if they're not flavored, they probably it probably won't do as well. But if it's flavored, it might actually do really well. But they're available on um, March 8th on Polite Society, and they're available March 10th on Ulta. 
So, I mean, you know, so um, 28 and their blush stick, they look a little bit like the Merit sticks. And then the other ones, the uh, the Glossy Bombs look a little bit similar to the, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, the Bieber, uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, Haley, uh, Haley Bieber, or it's like, or yeah, Road Beauty. That's it, Road Beauty, I think is the name of it. That's what it looks like. It looks a lot like Road Beauty. It looks like Polite Society doing a little copying, just saying, a little Merit, a little Road. I mean, they kind of like mix the both of them together. I mean, it sounds cute. I mean, it sounds cute. And I like Polite Society. I really like their foundation. That foundation's really good. But I don't know. I mean, it's just not another powder and stick formula and another glossy balm. I picked up the two from She Glam, and then that's enough for me. I really don't need any more glossy balms. I've got so many as it is. That was just to test that out, and I thought it was a little bit cheaper, but... You know, twenty one eight twenty one dollars ain't that you know it ain't that cheap though. I mean, it went to twenty eight dollars for others. Now, this is the past. This is just the past. We're just gonna pass on to that. So I mean, a bit of you guys have to let me know if you guys think of it or if you if you're interested in like you need another blush or you need another glossy one, please let me know. Um, but yeah, so up next is oh oh shoot y'all, it's Tom Ford. Tom Ford, good old Tom Ford. You know what I'm saying? It's the Soleil Summer Collection. Hey, Tom Ford's coming out with the Summer Collection. Let's get excited. Um, so there is a new eye color quad eyeshadow in Emerald Dust. There's a Soleil Spark color color changing lip oil. Another color changing. Golden Highlight and Ultra Sun Lip Colors in 31, 32. There's 33, and there's names, and they're French, and I can't. I'm not going to try to say them. You guys, okay, so you guys are going to laugh at me when I tell you what I think when I sing this. When I first saw this, I thought it looked like Christmas. <laughs> so, when I saw it, and I saw it, and it looked like Christmas, I was like, mm, it's just a Christmas collection. Because <laughs> it looked Christmas me but it's a summer collection i digress um you know uh it's a, the, it's a tom ford highlighter how much is she oh it doesn't say it doesn't say anything about the prices so it's not it's coming soon it's not out yet but it's like you know but um uh, no 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 to mr t tf the tf could just go no 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 we don't need a color changing lip lip gloss and we don't need more of these and he just came out with those really skinny little lipsticks or whatever and i heard they weren't that great so this is the past for me tom can just keep on taking his christmas and just put the take his christmas tree and just take it on out the backyard and just plant it out in the back because i just I just ain't interested in this summer collection. But I do know that you guys do love these. And I will let you know when they are available. And I do find out because I know that you guys, just some of you guys do love Tom Ford. You do love his quads. And you do love his highlighters. So I will let you know when it is available because I'm not trying to be biased. You know, it's just, it's just me personally. I just don't care for his line much. I wish I did, but I don't. I just don't see it. But anyway, you... You know, let me know if you're interested in this collection down below. And then, um, with that said, we're moving on over to Makeup Forever. So, Makeup Forever has come, is coming out with 39 new artist shadows. Um, and so, they're going to be single eyeshadows. So, instead of doing in pants, they're doing singles. And, you know, um, you know, working for Longcom, we had singles back in the day. And we still do, but there's only like about 12 of them left. They've gotten rid of most of them. You know, MAC is the only one that I know that still makes actual, like, a lot of colored singles. So, this is really interesting. So, they're kind of going back to their heyday because I think they used to do them back in the day. Um, so, there's... Uh, 32 matte shades and there's seven shimmery shades and the 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 matte shades are really there's a blue there's a purple there's some green there's some I mean there's some colors okay okay shimmery shades it doesn't give me a price so I don't know how much each one of these are going to cost but it'll be very interesting to see what they do with these and how they do with these. Because I know some people are very hit and miss with single shadows. I hear customers all the time tell me that they miss single shadow because they don't like using a whole palette. They only use one shadow out of the palette. I mean, oh, will you guys let me know down below, what, what do you think of single shadows? Do you think that single shadows are... That would you enjoy that? I mean, do you care? I mean, do you only use one out of the pan and that's the really one that you want to use and you want to buy? Would it be better for you to buy singles? I don't know. Just let me know down below what your thoughts are on that because I would really like to know. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the past. It's the past. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, but I would, I mean, but I might take one for the team on this one, maybe, and try one. 
But um, right now, no. No, it's a pass for me right now. So I'm going to have to say no on that one. But um, but yeah. So, I mean, you know, you guys will have to let me know down below what you think of it, though. So this just dropped today. Um, and this is at Selfridges right now. It just dropped. So Estee Lauder dropped the new Renature Diamond Serum Lipstick. And girl, she eighty eight dollars. Okay, okay. Estee, she like she. But it, but they made in Italy though. You know, they made in Italy, and they look cute. <laughs> it looks like there's um, about ten shades. It's about ten shades. It does look really pretty. It does look pretty. And Renewtra is their big expensive. It's like their luxury cream, and they're there. It's like their very expensive um, extreme cream that they have. They have a whole line based around it, foundation and everything else. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a uh, it's supposed to be uh, infused with hydrating serum to moisturize the lips, imparting a bucket load of pigmented color. It smooths on the lips, glides on effortlessly, and is available in a plethora of delicious colors. Um, right now, it's available at Selfridges. It's available overseas. Um, right, it's not available here yet. But I will let you guys know if you're interested in this. But you know, no, this is a pass. Um, you know, because I'm the, first of all, I I like Estee Lauder's lipsticks. They have some really pretty ones. I have some really beautiful colors that I have by Estee Lauder. They do make a good lipstick. Um, but I just don't know, guys. I just really don't know. Um, definitely not eighty-eight dollars worth. Not for not for one lipstick. Cause I think we're getting ready to go over. If I'm not mistaken, let me look in just a second. Let me. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's just talk about this while we're here. So Estee Lauder is coming out with another collection, and this one is the um, Suchi Shutting Q Q I Q Q I U collaboration in honor of International Women's Day. It, it, it it's a, actually a collaboration. Um, it's a new limited edition makeup collection with a renowned Chinese fashion designer Shooting Q. I don't know how to say her name, but uh, known for vibrant, colorful prints, eccentric headpieces. Um, it's got a double wear soft glow matte cushion um, and there's a new a pure color dare to express eyeshadow palette and then there's two matte lipsticks um, the packaging is gorgeous on this I mean it is really pretty um, the one the eyeshadow palette looks a little bit like it's paper but I don't know if that's the case or not, but it looks like it's paper, but it's pretty, and the inside of it's kind of confusing because it's supposed to be an eyeshadow palette, but it's like all these blends of different colors and stuff. I think that would confuse people. That would confuse customers. It'd be really hard to use and not get them all mixed up or whatever, so that makes it a little confusing, but it's pretty. Um... Now, the cushion palette is really pretty. That one's really beautiful. That that packaging is just stunning. And the lipsticks, of course, and they have embroidery on the top of it. It's really pretty. It doesn't give me an, an amount or when exactly it's going to drop. Um, but it, it does look really beautiful, though. It is pretty, but no. I mean, it's pretty as the packaging is and stuff. It's very, but I'm just... I'm just not, I don't know. I'm just not really impressed with it. I just have to say, I'm just going to have to pass on this one. That one's going to have to be a pass on me. I'm just not going to have, I'm not going to go with that one. Um, but uh, we'll talk about this, to me, you know, um, uh, this new Victoria Beckham, which has released three new shades of her eye longer eyeshadow sticks. She has these eyeshadow sticks for $34. And she's got a, quite a few shades in it. Um, but this is, um, this, she's come out with three new shades. So there's a cornflower, a, a matte sky blue, a ballet, a shimmery warm pink, and a shroom, which is a shimmery storm gray. They're $34 or water resistant and smudge proof. I don't have any Victoria of, of the sticks. But these colors, that blue, ooh, that is so pretty. It's almost like a blue purple. It's so pretty. The pink is pretty too. Mm, I don't know. I mean, uh, why don't Victoria send me? Why don't she send me PR? Hey, Victoria, send me the PR, okay? <sighs> um, because I would love to get the PR to this, but I just, I just can't. I can't do it. Thirty-four dollars for an eyeshadow stick. I can't. But they're so pretty though. They are really pretty. They're very tempting. She's very, te she's tempting me, Victoria. She's tempting me. But I'm going to have to pass. I'm passing on you, Victoria, even though you're a diva and you're fabulous. But I'm going to have to pass on this. But it does look really pretty. Um, so, and I'm sure that they're really good because I've heard great things about these. But I'm going to have to pass on it. Um, and we can't, 
talk about lips and lip maximizers and attic lip glosses without talking about Dior. I mean, more lips, more lip glosses, more lipsticks. And of course, these are spring ones and with the case, special cases. So, um, so they're coming out with new maximizer shades. It looks like there is one, two, three, four, five, that's seven of the new maximizer shades. There's a pink poppy coral, a pink lilac, a nazi blue, a silver candy, a rose gold, a plum, a gold, and then the lipsticks. There's a Dior Lilac, a Desire, a Dulce Vita, Nude, a Rose one here, and two Desire and Dior Lilac are limited edition. And then there's cases in a pink oblique, a rose mania, and a silver canage. Um really pretty. They are really pretty. That lilac shade, wow. That attic shade is so beautiful. And attic lipstick is so good. And the lip maximizers are really good too. They're really pretty though. They're really pretty. I'm sure that, especially that poppy one is so gorgeous. That coral, oh, so pretty. The pack of those um, limited edition cases, the pink one, stunning. So pretty. Um, It's a pass for me guys on this. I'm going to say no. But um, they're pretty, though. They are really pretty. Let me know if you guys are interested in these, and I would definitely make sure that I try to get you links when they're available. So if you guys do want to pick up one of these, it is a really pretty lipstick. I mean, I'm not that, again, like, do we need another lipstick and another lip maximizer? Like, we need a whole the head. But I will definitely try to make sure, keep up with that so I can let you guys know on that one. Um, and by the way, I meant to tell you that the Victoria um, Beckham, are, are, it's available right now. It's available. If I can find it, I'll make sure I'll link it down below. Yes, three more and we'll be done because I'm sorry that I try not to, I was trying to get through. I didn't want to put a lot in there, but there's just so much that's come out. It's been crazy. So, um, up Nick is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Hydration Reveal Cleanser. I have it already. I've already purchased this already, um, and I will keep you guys up to date on what I think about it, but it's a three-in-one cleanser. It's supposed to go into, it like starts off like a, a, a cream into a foam and then into a milk. So far, I like it. So far, so good. It's $30. It's available on her site. I don't know when it's going to be available on Sephora or Ulta yet, but um, it's, it has hyaluronic acid. It has peptide complex. It's a biomedical complex. It penetrates skin without deep hydration, without water loss. I will say it doesn't strip the skin yet, so I've not experienced any of that yet, but I do really like it so far. So far, so good, um, but it's already available. I will keep you guys posted on that one on what I think of it. Um, and then up next is Nomad Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette on March 12th. I might have already seen this one. That's right. So, I mean, I can't say anything else about it because it's not been released yet. It's, it's going to be released on the 12th. The reveal is on Saturday. I'm filming this on Wednesday. So, it will be revealed on a Saturday. So, whenever it's revealed, I will try to give you guys swatches. And I will do a little mini a little mini presentation. Maybe I might even try to put up a reel or something so you guys can see it. But um, I think you guys are going to really like it. It's really nice. But it is going to be available soon. I'm not going to give away anything else. Uh, but it is, but it's, it, it does look very interesting. It looks very pretty. Um, Nomad never disappoints. I actually have on a Nomad palette right now. It's one of their older ones that's being um, discontinued. But I do love it. It's really pretty. You guys will see it in the uh, next video when I uh, do a little edit, a little, my little get ready with me. Um, and so, yeah. And then last but not least, we have to talk about good old NARS. You know, NARS just can't let us down with a good old summer collection. You know, and this is a big summer collection. So, it's going to be available on April 19th. Um, so, this is the big, big, big sneak peek. So, it's a new Laguna palette that's being released along with eight seduction eyeshadows and sticks. Uh, so, the palette will be limited edition. Um, it will have, um, it's got, what, six six shades in it? Six, six shades? No, um... I don't remember, I don't know which one it is because I've got like so many different, There's. it's a big collection. So one is the face palette, which actually has the three, the four shadows and then it's three, like it looks like a bronzer, a high, two bronzers and a highlighter or something like that. Then you have this, the eyeshadow sticks and then you have, oh, you have two different kinds. So one is a lighter version and one's a darker version. Um, and then there is another one that's a little mini. There's a four pan, and then there's a setting powder, there's a cushion highlighter, there's a blush, 
I mean, it's a lot. There's a lot going on. The, there, there's a power matte um, blush, a two shade caramel brown and red tea brown. The quad is a dusty mauve, a shimmering rose, a golden antique rose. The eyeshadow sticks is the apricot, a tea brown, a medium caramel, warm red brown, chocolate brown, red, red star brown, a lot of browns, and one black. So, um, uh, let's just put it this way. No, 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 no black, no brown, no any of this. No, 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 because NARS just does not have my heart. I have, I hate to say it. And I know you guys, a lot of you guys love it. And I will, you know, I will let you guys know when it's available, when it, when it comes available. It's not until the 19th. But it's just nothing for me. I, this is just, it's more brown. It's like brown, 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 brown. And, same. and NARS just does the same thing to me over and over and over again. And it's just kind of like boring to me. But this is a big collection for them. I don't remember Summer being this big last year. But it's very big this year. So, I don't know. It's just a big pass for me, guys. So, I mean, because you know, there's so many, it's like wash, rinse, repeat on some of these shadows. Like with the Mario palette and, you know, with the lip glosses and everything. I'm going to go ahead and move back over here because my it's, it's kind of hurting my neck a little bit so I can get more back in the center and make sure I'm in the center. My eggs are <laughs> only going to make the center. So, well, you know, you guys will have to let me know. My hair. Let's get all these my hair. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you guys think. Um, it's just so overkill with all this stuff and these blush and these lipsticks and these glosses, it's just like, it's like, no, 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 no more blushes, no more lip glosses, I can't, I can't, Cal got to take me away, because it just, it just drives me nuts, it really does, um, so make sure you guys comment down below, make sure you let me know what you guys think, and, uh, make sure, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel while you're here, we would love to have you and our little family, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and also to turn on the notification bell, so you can get notifications on anything that I post and also when I upload anything and um with that said guys we're done you know until next time with another list of probably more blushes and more lip glosses and stuff you know be safe be strong be proud then tall love yourself remember tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short and also remember to be kind to someone because kindness goes an awful long way and with that said guys we will see you again in the next episode take care peace out Mwah. bye